So welcome to day three of TF Crack. Uh, you're going to notice that I am once again on the uh, the multiplayer server, just you know for fun and stuff like that. And my house is about a thousand that way. So um, I just wanted to mention that today I did mostly exploring and looking for Gabbro. I mean that's pretty much what all of us were doing this day. Uh, so I'm going to be doing more montages than normal. Uh, this is actually going to be uh, a fairly common thing for uh, the next few days worth of episodes. There will be some nice highlights. Uh, th there's definitely some hidden stuff even today and uh, I believe tomorrow and maybe even the next day <laughs> uh, of some interesting stuff that will be coming out of all of this. But I just wanted to explain the long montages. Uh, majority of TFC is actually looking for materials and uh, unfortunately when you're in a competition you don't exactly want to go with everybody that's on the server to find said materials. So I, I spend a good deal of time and as did the most of our team looking for the things we needed to make uh, the blue steel and such like that. So uh, without further ado Please enjoy this nice montage of me exploring and setting up, uh, well, laying the groundwork for areas that will become uh, much more interesting <laughs> later on. You know, consider this like you know, the directorial preview of a location that will be uh, much more substantial to the, uh, the storyline of the film in uh, scenes to come. Anywho, uh, I will get an episode from this server out pretty soon. I actually already recorded one with me moving out here, uh, but I lost it. I don't know if it was cleared up in needing of space and stuff like that, but do look for other episodes and series to be coming back. Uh, now that I'm not recording 24-7 uh, for the tournament, uh, I was feeling a bit under the weather yesterday and uh, was unable to really get anything out. So anywho, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, please enjoy this montage and the other episodes that come out. And uh, thank you for watching, as always. Have a good one. So out to the west I found a very large cassiterite and I think two very large coppers and then I found the gabbro layer so we got those covered. We really need nickel, silver, and gold. Those would get us yeah. to black, yeah. blue. Up above us in the old copper vein I found a large sample of cassiterite around there too. Yeah, uh, when I was digging out the... I, I dug out a little bit of the cassiterite, it still said very large at the end. Uh, when I when we were all done, then we jumped on the copper because you know copper's better. <laughs>
Alright, first things first, setting up a farming area. Perfect. Nice little island right over here. Not near the entrance to my farm, but well within activation level. Uh, should I get my stuff back first? Probably. Assuming any of it's even there. Oh, I still see my stuff down there. Oh, are you shitting me? It vanished right when I jumped down to get it. Wow. That is just so not cool. I saw oh. it, I looked back over and dug three more blocks, and I'm like, alright, I can just jump from here, and then look down, and I think I got like two blocks that probably fell from what I was just mining. There. If this turns into a giant food fight, we will be somewhat covered.
Uh, you might be on solo watch pretty soon here. I still have another 3,700 block to get home. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Stick your oh, stuff in a chest. Bury it. <laughs> Die. That wouldn't take me home though because my spawn is currently at the world spawn. Hmm. Which I guess it's about 3,000 away. <laughs> That'd be awesome. You bury it in a chest. You go and kill yourself. You spawn like 15 blocks from your chest. Ah, uh, this is sounding more and more inhospitable. And all of my planks just flew out that way. I haven't seen any sign of anyone since I've been running around. I think everybody's probably buried themselves in pretty good. I was planning on doing some scouting, but when you said everybody had already moved, my next uh, venture is probably going to be when we start seeing where the fortresses are. Scout the fortresses until we see somebody make a resource run. And follow them back to their base that way. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to have to do. Then we'll see if they're pansies and disconnect on us. 